Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. In the last episode, we began the Delta episode of our journey, with the fate of the world once again being threatened by a seemingly sentient meteoroid. Our life has taken quite a turn, since not only are we now dealing with the end of the world as we know it once again, we're now dealing with prophecies that are completely outdating our current knowledge, being ancient an ancient race of people being the Draconids, people who follow the way of the mighty Sky Guardian known as Rayquaza to save them from extinction events and disasters they may come to face, appointing what they call Lord Keepers for each generation to be, sole, be the sole person responsible for calling upon Rayquaza when the time truly comes. The only thing is, the Lord Keeper has already chosen her side, the one directly opposed to Stephen Stone and his father's company, the Devon Corporation. And what was the person that ended up being the person who either accidentally or forcefully pushed Archie towards his path to resurrect Kyogre in the very first place, trying to kickstart Rayquaza? by seemingly forcing an extinction event by any means necessary. The only thing is, who really is the bad guy at the end of the day? The Devon Corporation or Team Aqua? Only time will truly tell, since honestly, it could be the worst of two evils, or honestly, both people are thinking right, since Team Aqua wasn't bad and Devon Corporation seemingly isn't bad. It's just that... The ideals end up being bad in the end, even though they're good people. So, honestly, with that being said, all we know is that we need to head back to the Devon Corporation. So, with that being said, oh, something's going on. Um, a wah wah wah. Hmm. Uh, what? Oh. Hello, Professor Cosmo. Um, ouch. Hello there, buddy. Oh, you're. Oh, you. I know who you are. You're the guy that we saved the uh, Devon parts from when uh, you got them stolen from you back when we were in Petalburg uh, Woods. You're, it's been a very long time since we've seen this guy. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me before. That is true. Oh, hello, Team Aqua Grunt. Um, you geek? Um, aye, you've got to help me, please. Um, whoa, you're the kid trainer I met before. Oh, same guys. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, Arg, you're getting in my way once again. Yep, and we're not letting you beat up a random, uh, you know, random uh, scientists here, buddy. Even, uh, even if we know you. Sorry, bud, not gonna happen. But, uh, interesting, though, with the fact that now we know for sure that Team Aqua is entirely behind Zinnia, then, since we've only seen Matt up till this point with Zinnia. So now we know that Team Aqua really is alongside Zinnia all the way through. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. But we knew that from what we were told from not only Steven, but from also uh, the Draconid lady that we met in the last episode in Meteor Falls, that she is completely sided with Team Aqua because of the fact that, well, she was the one that literally told them about Kyogre, which started Archie's fascination with the Pokemon to the point where, well, he was able to actually resurrect it. And, well, we ended up stopping his, uh, disaster he began, but interesting, very, very interesting information from everything. But honestly, with, uh, Team Aqua now against us again, seemingly, not gonna be a good thing for us, since, well, we just recently became friends with Archie. Just very recently with the whole thing with Zeusopolis and everything. And another defeat. Yeah, sorry there, buddy. Another defeat for you, indeed. Um, huh. Am I destined to lose to you all the time? Yep, Mr. 27th Strongest in the uh, Team Aqua team. Um, what's wrong, Grunt? Um, what? You again? Eh, fine. Oh, okay. You, sure, I know I can't win, but I'm going to challenge you for mats. For mats? Oh, so Archie has nothing to do with this, then. So Archie and Shelly seemingly stepped down, then, for sure, then. Because the fact is, as we know that uh, Shelly said she would always be with Archie, and if they're specifically talking about Matt, well, it seems like Archie has nothing to do with this, then. 
Huh. Okay. But the only thing is, what is Matt's true connection with Zinnia is, that is then? Because that's really a good question, honestly. Hmm. Definitely something to learn, for sure. Even though I knew I wouldn't win, it's still disappointing. Eh, fair enough. But, uh, yeah, you gotta try harder than that than throwing Pokemon that, uh, definitely don't work against Gardevoir. Sorry there, bud, but Cindy knows what to do. Um, sound the retreats. It's only good sense to save my own hide for Matt's sake. Uh, huh. Oh, another Team Aqua Grunt. I'm hungry, so I'm going back. Uh, hello? Uh, gah? Well, my stomach's ready for a battle. Cause it's rumbling. <laughs> okay. Just go get something to eat. You don't have to fight me, dude. You just go off to get something. But, uh, we can definitely take you on. But honestly, if, uh, based on what your other buddies tried to do, I don't think you're gonna have much of a chance either, but... Honestly, you could try. <laughs> we'll just see what we could do, honestly, since Cindy's more than ready for a fight. Since, well, let's be honest here, she's pretty strong. It's a Gardevoir, after all. Gardevoir is a really strong Pokemon to begin with. So, honestly, I would hope she would be strong. But, uh, into a Sharpedo. We should be able to go into Dazzling Gleam here. Since, let's be honest here, Dazzling Gleam is pretty good on Dark-type Pokemon. So it's good that we have something to go against Dark-type Pokemon and Poison-type, since Team Aqua uses quite a lot of Poison and Dark-type Pokemon even though they're technically water-type trainers. But there we go, not too bad. Level 55 for Cindy, getting us closer to level 60, and down goes another Team Aqua Grunt. I'm so hungry. Go get yourself something to eat, buddy. I didn't stop you for needing to, you know, go eat. I lost, like I figured. I'm gonna get my, uh, get some food on the way back. <laughs> you go do that, bud. Uh, honestly, you should've just ran off and went to go get your food. You didn't have to fight us. Uh, the thank you? You help me again. Um, as my thanks, I'll give you another Great Ball. You were gonna give me another Great Ball? No. Oh, oh, now is not the time for this. We're in big trouble. Team Aqua stole the control device for our link cable that our company had been developing. It's a special tool called the Dimensional Shifter. The person who stole it was a huge man with bulging muscles. Uh-huh, so Matt, what shall I do? What sh would we you do? Um, uh, what shall I do? They must have headed for Moss Deep Space Center. Steven must have gone ahead to the Space Center, but I'm worried. Well, the thing is, is we know Zinnia does not like anything to do with that dimensional shifter. A hundred percent, because of the fact of, uh, well, it's got ties to the, uh, well, the Pokemon War. And, well, let's be honest here, it's technically a weapon based on what she was saying. So, honestly, she has a very good reason not to team with Devon Corporation. The only thing is, is Devon Corporation's trying to use that device for good, not for evil, like, well, how what had happened before. So it's kind of like miscommunication slash misunderstanding between both parties is what we can kind of piece together. Because she wants nothing to do with that, you know, that dimensional shifter slash warp hole stuff being even thought about based on what we can kind of tell with everything going on. Oh, and there's Matt. And it looks like the uh, Team Aqua squad that we fought before, right before we got to Matt in the Team Aqua base. Oh, let's go, Grunts! Okay, let's go, Grunts, indeed. Okay, well, let's follow Matt into the uh, Moss Deep Space Center, since that's definitely where he's going. So, hopefully we can stop him before he does anything too drastic. Because we need to do something about that asteroid, and certainly at the moment, it doesn't look like we're having too good of a chance of taking out that meteorite roid, uh, right now. But, uh, let's see what's going on here. But yep, it's definitely the uh, Team Aqua sisters again that we fought off with uh, right before Matt and the Team Aqua... Team Aqua's base for sure, because they're lining up just the way they did before. Tee hee hee. We finally meet again. It's been three. How long has it been? Nincompoop, it doesn't matter. Brace yourself, we won't let you call us mere quintuplets. Okay, the Team Aqua quintuplets, here you go. But honestly, um, definitely they're going to slow us down quite a bit. 
since Matt is already up ahead, it seems. Hopefully not too far up ahead, though. Because we might be able to, you know, he might have slowed us down, but it might not be to the point where it's, like, you know, doomed for us. Although that five uh, quintuplet Mightyana with Intimidate is never a good thing on a physical Pokemon, but thankfully we're using a special attacking Pokemon right now. Because uh, that would actually kind of hinder us quite a lot. Doesn't Dazzling Gleam? Yep, Dazzling Gleam hits everything. Perfect. Okay, well, here's a Dazzling Gleam for all you Mighty Annas. And since you're all level 25, yep, <laughs> down in a stack of dominoes. Sorry there, buddy. But 4,000 experience, not too bad. That's more experience we've gotten from a normal Pokemon, so I'll take it. A couple levels out of it. We also got Punishments. Could be good. More the, more, more the target has powered up this, with stats, the greater the move's power. Doesn't really work on a Pokemon like Jane, unless we baton pass it, so gonna say no to that, but thanks though. Um, oh, no, we lost again. <laughs> yep, you did. And still giving out low change on the money, because you only gave me a thousand. But, uh, okay, well thanks, I guess. Ha ha ha, I knew we would lose. I wanted to win in style, like the Hoenn Rangers. It's odd. The strategy Intimidate five times in a row should be invincible. We're not using physical Pokemon, so, uh, yeah, don't work like that. Did you cheat? Grumble, grumble. Nincompoop, stop whining. Matt is on the second floor. It's pathetic, but we can't stop him. Please, please stop him. Please stop him? Huh. Um, anything else from these guys? This, that strategy intimidate five times in a row should be invincible. Oh, they're just repeating themselves. Anything from you? You look like you might say something different. Nope, just the same as you said before. Okay, well, please help them indeed. Oh, into the next room we go then. Oh, hey Steven, and there's Matt's. Your timing is impeccable as always, folks. It definitely is. T. Makwa, what do you intend to do with that device? You do realize that this is the last hope we have at saving this planet. Well, for what, for, from what we've heard, we also heard that Rayquaza can help out too. So, technically not. Since we already know that Rayquaza's been around for extinction level events beforehand based on the Draconids. So, technically no, Steven, but technically yes. I don't know. Kind of depends if we could bring... Rayquaza down in time is really what's kind of what's sounding like when it comes to the Rayquaza part of that. But honestly, at the current moment, this is the best option. But uh, yeah, definitely for you, maybe. But uh, I think we have more than one option here. Uh, what was that? What? Where's two? Hey, laugh for one bit, punk. My bro, my bro, whom I love so much. Are you even trying to tell me that everything we've done up till now, the ties that bind us, all of it was mistakes? My bro has changed since he got mixed up with you. How convenient. It must be for you to put all the blame on another. Uh, shut it up. Um, no one. That rock is full of crazy amount of energy. It's even more amazing. Then the ultimate weapon that it ended the war 3,000 years ago, right? What? Uh, if I use this keystone, I found a meteor falls, I can force the energy inside the rocket to explode. It'd be like a mega evolution for the rocket. Whoa. Who uh, needs a meteoroid? I'm gonna go bring an end to all things with my own power. Uh, you know, one with, uh, who will complete Project Azoth. Oh, Project Azoth. We heard about that before inside Team Aqua's base. Okay. And take the world back to its beginnings. Is me. Is you? Hmm, spooks. This fool, this incredible fool, really intends to do it. If we do, don't stop this now, our whole world will be embroiled in the destruction. You're ready to battle, aren't you? Yep, we definitely are. Hmm, wonderful. Well, wonderful indeed. Oh, uh I'm gonna smash you up. Okay, well, here we go. Well, if the fact that Archie's no longer trying to bring the world to a standstill anymore like he was before with Azoth, and Matt's now taking place, that means Archie has nothing to do with this then. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. 
Okay. Well, first things first is Dazzling Gleam to make sure... Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Matt's got Mega Evolution now, and uh, that's a Mega Sharpedo. Okay, well, uh, that's definitely not a good sign. And that means uh, he must have gotten his stone from Archie then. Huh. Because Archie had the Mega Stone for Sharpedo before. That's interesting. Well, sorry, but <laughs> your Mega Sharpedo is not enough. He's, uh, he's good, but... Uh, He's a not-so-tanky Pokemon. He's a glass cannon. So, us hitting him with uh, any kind of damage like what we just did with Gardevoir there, even if it was a double-attacking move, being, you know, hitting both of them and slightly taking down the power of it. I don't know why I did Poison, or Fairy on Poison. That was really stupid. And we're going to get hit for... Yeah, that was that was really dumb. That wasn't on purpose, though. I, I literally just accidentally hit it, to be fair. But, uh... Yeah, that was a, that was on accident completely, but uh, yeah, we should have used uh, what would have been Psychic there. Thankfully, Scarborough's flying, so we can go for Earthquake here with Osborne and just run through the muck really quickly. But uh, yeah, that was not intended whatsoever to accidentally use Fairy type on that. Oh, I knew I wouldn't win, but um, hey now, hey now indeed. Okay, random team Aqua Grunt. Hey now indeed. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, am I not good enough, bro? Nope. Whatever you're doing, it's definitely not happening. Hmm, spooks, now is all chance to take the dimensional shift around. Oh, hey, Zaster again. That means Zinnia is not far behind. Oh, oh. Aster snatched the dimensional shifter away from Matt. Hmm, that Pokemon doesn't eat belong to. Oh, nice one, Aster. So now we're finally having Matt and Zinnia in the same room now, so maybe we can get some answers. Hmm, you're the... Um, the Draconid, yep. Um, or you could just call me Zinnia. Okay, Zinnia. Um, Aster. Thank you, dear. Um, now then. That is an impressive machine. Snap your fingers, the asteroid vanishes. And we all live happily ever after, right? Maybe. Since what you're saying, it makes it sound like that's not going to work at all. Ahaha, uh, indeed. It's like that former champ said. That this thing is the best hope we have of saving this planet, and everything on it. But you know, it could also be the worst tragedy imaginable for some other world and everything on it. Oh. Uh, depends if the world has life on it, though. It could just be a rock with nothing on it. So, fair, but... We don't know where it's going, so it doesn't mean that it's gonna hit somebody, but okay. What are you trying to say? Um, I'm not talking to you. You don't get it. Hmm. Um, but you spooks. Hope for our world, tragedy for another. You get it, don't you? I do? Kinda. It's in between, though. Um, and you come through again. You never disappoint me. My people know it. From generation to generation, we pass along the lore about the distortions in the world, born by mega evolution mechanisms, and about the existence of another world, which we have long observed to be just like this one, and yet not the same. Um, that's right. A Hoenn region that's almost exactly like this one we live in. Oh. Okay. So, basically, if we were to teleport this uh, meteor, it would go through dimensions, specifically to the point where it gets sent to the original Ruby and Sapphire universe, or Emerald. It could be Emerald, too, to be fair. And, uh, well, Meteor goes and smashes into, uh, into the other Hoenn, the original, and, well, although, yes, we're safe... The originals aren't safe whatsoever, since, well, let's be honest here, all, a lot of the uh, characters between, well, between the two games, Archie specifically, is a major different version to Archie in the original. And, well, both Archies are completely different. And, well, technically, Matt and Shelly are completely different in the other dimension, too. But, uh... 
That's interesting. Okay. So, based on what you're saying, which is true, because, uh, well, if we were to play Ruby and Sapphire, well, that would be... We would know for sure that dimension would be what they're talking about. Okay. Although, in those games, you never hear about a meteorite coming straight for you, to be fair. But, uh, well, that definitely adds up. Okay. Well, it seems like we definitely trust Zinnia, but the thing is, there's a reason why we can trust Zinnia is from what we heard from the Draconid back in Meteor Falls, with the fact that we know she can summon Rayquaza, since that's the power of the Lore Keeper. So, as long as we can pull Rayquaza out to save the day, like it's supposed to for extinction-level events, we should be fine, and the original Hoenn should be safe. As long as we don't use that device, is basically what uh, we can kind of determine from what we're, we know about this device now. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's right. A Hoenn region that's almost exactly like this one we live in, filled with Pokemon and people like us. A world where maybe the evolution of Pokemon took a slightly different path, where Mega Evolution is unknown. A world where that war 3,000 years ago never happened. A world where the ultimate weapon was never even built. And in that Hoenn of that world, what would happen if one day, out of the blue, a meteoroid appeared? What would happen to the people of that world without the technology to destroy the meteoroid or the power to warp it away? True. They were in a lot different time back in uh, Ruby and Sapphire. They did not have warp technology or any of that in that uh, dimension. So, true. That is very true. They wouldn't be able to do anything. And I guess their only choice is to hope that they have their own lore keeper at that point, I guess. Huh. Well, yeah, that's definitely not a good sign for them. For sure. Uh, looks like it's beyond the power of your imagination. Xenia crushed the dimensional shifter in her hand, and now there's no option of using that, so, well, time for plan B. <laughs> Team with Xenia at this point, because there's no way we're using that thing in time. Um, what kind of fool are you? You have no substantive, uh, substantive proof, and yet you claim another world. One just like our own exists. Out of this fantasy, you, you have destroyed our only hope. What have you done? Um, farewell, brief hope. Um, y you, do you even know now what you we have to do? Um, calm down there, Professor. It'll be okay. I, we, we can protect this world and the other. Well, based on what we've heard about Rayquaza, I feel like it's probably worth a shot at least to try the Rayquaza thing. Who exactly is we? What are your intentions? Um, oh yeah, silly me. I forgot the other thing I came for. What'd you come for? Oh, <laughs> she smacked Matt and stole his keystone. Well, uh, sorry there, Matt. I don't think you're going to be using any more Mega Evolution. Nice try, though. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and that's the keystone gotten. Um, now, I'll put it together with the keystone that we got in their base. In their base, you say? Uh, looks like my next appointment is calling, so I'll excuse myself for now. Um, later. Okay, later, Aster and Zinnia. Hmm. Well, she's our only hope now, so, uh, sorry there, Steven. It looks like you gotta just team up with her at this point, because Rayquaza stole an option, and we were given that option pretty early. We still have a lot of time to even think about calling upon Rayquaza and hoping that works. So, might as well try it, right? It's ancient prophecies, and it's they've done it before, so I don't see why not. Uh, that punk! How dare she try to take my bro Archie's keystone! Not cool, man, not cool! Mm, confound it all! So she must be making fall. Team Aqua's hideout next! Mm, think, Stephen, think! What to do, what to do? Well, uh, we know where we're going, then. Team Aqua's secret base is definitely where we should head to next. Anything from uh, him? Looks like... Nope, nothing new from you, but maybe from this to Team Aqua Grunt. Um, Matt, I'll stay by your side. What about you, Steven? Looks like he's 
Pete and himself. What about Cosmo? This is no time to lose hearts. I've somehow got to find a way to repair the dimensional shifter. And what about you, because you were technically in that too? Problems just keep popping up one after another. We're supposed to be carving out a bright new future with the power of science, but... But this mess... Huh. Okay. Well, with that being said, time to figure out the next step of this mess, because let's be honest here, next step is to head off to Team Aqua's base, since that's definitely a good place to start. So, Lily Cove City, here we come. Since that's the... Well, that is where their base is. But, um, obviously by the fact that we're seeing Team Aqua in the Delta story, obviously it would be Team Magma in the other game, if you guys are wondering. So, obviously we'd be dealing with Maxi and his team. I always forget their names. I think Cindy... I'm trying to remember. I think Cindy is one of their... is uh, their female admin's name. I always forget. But it makes sense because Cin Cinder... Oh no, it's Cin I think it's Cinder, actually. Yeah, it's either Cinder or Cindy, and then uh, their male admin as well. And I think their male admin's their, their version of Matt in this story, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, definitely first things first is heading directly for Archie, since we need to make sure he doesn't lose his, uh, his keystone, or, well, either help him or help Zinnia at this point. So let's be honest here, we definitely need to go here. That trainer with the black bobbed hair, she was incredibly strong, but her leader is beyond the rooms full of warp panels. It's not that easy to get there. We've been there before. Um, what, what type of, what is the dragon type Pokemon user? Her strength is astonishing. Would you say that she's stronger than Archie? She, yeah, I would think so. A woman with a whisper ins is inside. Oh yeah, she definitely is. So into the Team Aqua hideout we go, since that is definitely where we want to go. Thing is, though, is I think we got to go through the the specific uh, teleporters again in the right order. So let's definitely make use of the Devon Corporation's teleporting devices, since now we know that they actually created those. And I think, oh, yep, Team Aqua grunts are back on uh, full alert again. Um, whoa, stay away from me. Get away. Uh... Why are you fighting me, then? Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> if you want to fight me, I guess. But, uh, you're gonna have to try really hard with this Muck here. Probably should revive Cindy here if we're gonna be dealing with Mucks, though. In, you know, good, uh, variation. Because the thing is, is Muck can be a problem if we're facing them constantly. So, it would probably be a safe idea to revive Cindy for Poison-type Pokemon, because Poison-type Pokemon are pretty common with uh, Team Aqua here. So, it would probably be smarter to prepare for them in the long run, pretty much. But down goes Donatello, though, unfortunately. Let's go into Osborne, because we know Osborne has Earthquake, so we know we can easily break through good old Muck here. And then whatever they play through next, we should be safe. It depends on what they throw out, though. Because it could be Sharpedo, it could be Mighty Anna, it could be Crobat, it could be anything, honestly, or a Golbat, or anything. So, just to be prepared, let's definitely keep on our toes. It's going for Carvana, okay. So, Carvana, honestly, let's go for the variation where we don't get hit with Rough Skin. So, Caesar, you do what you do best, buddy. Stay away from getting hit by, uh, anything we need to not be hit by, and just be as careful as possible. Down goes Carvana, and down goes our Team Aqua Grunts. Kind of curious why uh, they're on full alert, even though Zinni already went through here. I was knocked out, out like a light. You can definitely say that again, buddy. <laughs> but uh, let's definitely go about and revive uh, what has gone down, since we didn't revive Cindy after fighting Matt there. So... Definitely should make sure we're nice and healed here, because we're going to need it for sure. But uh, definitely grab some heals here, because those will come in handy. Just like that, not too bad. And honestly, further in we go, since we know we need to go pretty deep in here to get to Archie. That girl may have totally destroyed me earlier, but it can't go that way all the time. Well, uh, definitely 
seemingly based on the fact that she's making her way directly for Archie, I don't think you're going to be able to even stop her whatsoever, since uh, she's stronger than Matt, a hundred percent, and she may even be stronger than Steven. So, honestly, very good question. But uh, your quick guard shouldn't do anything. I think that only works in double battle, so uh, sorry there, buddy. That's a move that's not going to help you whatsoever. But nice try. Nice try indeed. But a uh, free level for good old Caesar, though. Am I doomed to repeat my mistakes? Does this mean I'll lose my next battle, too? Well, if you're fighting Zinni again and reviving your Pokemon for her, then probably yeah. Now that I've gotten a good look at you, you're the kid from the other day, right? Please, you've got to help Archie and Shelly. The way that girl handled her Pokemon... She may actually be better than Shelly, or even Archie himself. Honestly, make a lot of sense. She is a Dragon-type user. I would believe so. Honestly, what's going on with you again? I'm not slacking off. Still doing, uh, still worrying about her soda pop selection. <laughs> oh, oh, hello there, buddy. Do you think I'm just gonna stand around while everyone pushes me past me? <laughs> uh, probably. Because I don't think you're gonna have a chance to beat us, because we've beaten you before, buddy. But, you could try. You could definitely try. And I don't mean to be kind of cocky against these guys, but honestly, we have a fair reason to be, like, cocky against these guys, because we beat them before. These are the same grunts that were defending in the base beforehand. So, sorry there, buds, but honestly, your defending is uh, not going to stop us from getting to Archie and Zinnia. So, you could try, but it's not going to be enough. You're going to need a little bit more training if you want to get that chance. Since you're still using Golbat and you can easily have a Crobat by level 50, I would believe. So, yeah, sorry there. But definitely not going to be stopping us. Um, what are you going to be? Someone else who pushes right on past me? Um, probably. Although that isn't the, really the intention. But, uh, if you say so. But honestly... For where they are currently, the thing is, is we don't know exactly where Archie is. There's a couple areas we could possibly think of, but honestly, they said in the room past all the teleporters, and this would be the room I would think of, but so far it doesn't seem that way. You still talking about what you talked about before? Looks like, yep, you're talking about artificially making a blue orb still. So he's stuck in the past there. So maybe into the next room then. So far nothing though. But there is another Team Aqua Grunt active over here. So it looks like we are going the right way. If you want get to get or want to get to Archie, you gotta take me out first. You're years away from being able to beat me though. We beat you before, so uh uh you're probably years away from beating me. But uh eh, you only got one Pokemon, so uh probably light years at this point. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, one Pokemon versus six, it's got to be a legendary if you want to win. Or level, I did not mean to hit Magical Leaf. Or me mis misclicking on the wrong move. But, uh, eh, it was almost enough. But we're Fairy types, so Dark type doesn't really hurt us, so... It hurt, because of the Psychic typing. But, it's not double damage. And you had a Sucker Punch there. Nice try, but you weren't, that wasn't enough to get, get through us, thankfully. But... Down goes Mighty Gana, and down goes another Team Aqua Grunt, and level 60 for Donatello, which is always good to see. Perhaps my Pokemon and Arya aren't, are the ones with years of training to do, uh, light years at this point. With the fact that you only have one Pokemon, light years. What's going on with you and the girl from earlier? Teenagers are old enough to know the difference between right and wrong. You can't go trashing somebody's hideout on impulse. Uh, huh? That wasn't you. Uh, s sorry about that. I apologize? Hmm. Yeah, we're not running through here. I'm sorry, it wasn't us. <laughs> we're, one, our character isn't a girl, and two, we don't have black hair, we have brown hair, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, definitely not gonna be, uh, us on that instance. I always thought that, uh, the character for Pokemon Emerald and, uh, Ruby and Sapphire for the male character had white hair. But I never knew it was a beanie until the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire games, I'm gonna be honest. Because, <laughs> yeah, I really did think they had white hair. But, uh, into the next one we go. Um, hey, you're the intruder who messed up our base. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. 
they think so every okay so all the team aqua grunts think we're zinnia then okay good to know well we're not zinnia but it's uh it makes sense that you're fighting with a passion to stop us though but uh yeah i'm gonna be honest that is definitely not us but we need to definitely fight through these team aqua grunts to get to archie as quick as possible because right now, he's probably not having a fun time right now, since his keystone's probably being uh, forcefully ripped out of his hands as, as we speak, for all we know. So, honestly, we have no clue what's about to happen for Archie. But, uh, definitely, the faster and faster that we go, the faster and far faster we get to him. Um, I got it. <laughs> yep, you got it indeed. But honestly, what, what else do you got? Huh? You're not an intruder. Uh, so, sorry for the mistake. I thought you were with the weird lady who was trashing our hideout earlier. Earlier, you say? So she's already gone then, based on what they're saying. Okay. Well, we still got some Team Aqua grunts to go through. So, let's definitely fight them. What's this? What's this? Another intruder in our hideouts. Yep, another intruder indeed, but we're not here to trash anything. We're more here to help. But, uh, you guys, uh, didn't know we were coming, so you weren't prepared for us to help, to be fair. But, uh, surprised you guys don't remember us from before, because we helped out Archie, Archie before, even though we were technically against you guys. But, uh, yeah, your little Carvana is not going to have a chance here, bud. I'm going to be honest. But, definitely a weird amount of experience gained for the Carvana there. Um, huh? I guess we're open to the public now. I guess so. <laughs> uh, anything else from you? Um, huh. You are an intruder. So you're not with the girl in her whisper? Nope, not at all. But, uh, maybe. I don't know. We don't really know if we're on her side or not. Our leader's room isn't here. You're the second person to make this mistake. There was also a girl with a whisper. Hmm. So it looks like we do need to head for Archie's room, specifically. Okay. Well, with that being said, let's see here. Trying to think of where else Archie's room was. Archie's room was uh, the one with the Master Ball in it, if I remember correctly. So we need to go through our little puzzle again. So hopefully I remember the exact order it was, because uh, I think it was this one, this one. Then we need to go left here, and then all the way to the left, not in the middle one, in order to get to where we're wanting to go. Because this should take us to the Master Ball area, and yep, there's Zinnia. Let's definitely uh, heal up real quick. Actually, well, we're fully healed, I guess it doesn't matter. I was thinking more power points, but I think we'll be fine. But there's Shelly and there's Archie. Mwah! Um, oh, right. The winner is Zinnia. Yep, Archie lost to Zinnia. That's proof. Um, Archie, are you okay? And Shelly and Zinnia have the same voice. I'm going to be uh, completely sorry about that, because uh, I honestly didn't think we were going to have them both mixing together in at the same time, to be fair. So... Unfortunately, they're going to have the same voice, so I'm sorry for uh, the repeat in voice, guys. In a, just a, just for the time that Shelly and Zinni are in the same room. When they're not in the same room, it'll be perfectly fine, but because they're both in the same place, it's going to be, you know, double dipping on the same voice line, like, dialogue area in my voice. So, just going to be honest there. Um, Archie, are you okay? Merg, I'll be keyholed. How did I get beat by this little slip of a girl? Um, looks like Aster's singing along. Um, oh, oh, what's this? Are you happy, girl, Aster? Um, just what I expected of my daughter. We're so in sync. <laughs> Your daughter, you say? Mm, you, who even are you? Honestly, uh, that's a good question for Archie, because he, he, randomly this lady shows up and just defeats him out of nowhere, even though he's not doing anything. So, but weren't we told by the Draconid that she was the one that told Archie about everything? That's weird. That's really weird, then. Um, who am I? That's a surprisingly difficult question. Hmm. I couldn't become one who who I was supposed to be. So who does this make me now? Oh, that's why. Okay, I was getting it confused because uh, she was disguised as a Team Aqua Grunt. That's why they wouldn't know that Zinnia is Zinnia. Okay, 
got got a little mixed up there. They do know her, they just don't know Zinnia for Zinnia. They know her for Team Aqua Grunt member, and not Zinnia. Okay. Got a little confused there, but we're back on track. Um, haha, whatever, right? Enough with the introspection and the soul-searching. Um, you there, spooks. Don't just stand there like a stick in the mud. Come on over and say hi. Hello. Long time no see, Archie and Jelly. Um, you? Mmm, Scout. But why are you? Um, isn't it obvious? He's a hero, right? Here to save the world again? Um, oops. But looks like he's a bit too late this time. If only he'd been here just one minute earlier. One minute earlier? Oh. Wah! And there goes Archie's Keystone. No more at Mega Evolution for him, too. Um, Archie, hang in there. Um, there. Now, I'd say this Keystone is mine. Um, we finally got everything, Aster. Yep, they definitely do. Um, now we can do it. The summoning. The summoning? Um, we will summon Rayquaza. Okay, but where are you gonna summon him? That's the real question. Um, well then, looks like my job here is done. So don't mind me while I excuse myself. Okay, well, you're excused. Um, those spooks. I really hope you'll come chasing after me, you know. We'll be heading to the ancient tower, sealed since primal times. The Sky Pillar. The thing is, as I haven't seen the Sky Pillar in Hoenn for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire anywhere, so, hmm, okay. Um, if you don't know what that is, well, ask for the, the that former champ of yours. He'll know what I'm talking about. Find them, find me there. Okay. It's a Sky Tower, which is, if, um, in the original Emerald game, the Sky Tower is where you would find Rayquaza in Emerald. But the thing is, is because we're dealing with the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, normally in the Ruby and Sapphire stories, you don't even see Rayquaza. So, that's definitely something of note. Okay, well, we need to find the Sky Pillar then. Since the Sky Tower slash the Sky Pillar is definitely a place where we need to go. For sure. Definitely. Um, oh man. What makes her think she can just do whatever she wants? And then hightail it out of here? That's a good question there, Shelly. Mm, little scalp. Hey, fine. I guess it's just fate that you showed up now of all times. That's, uh, definitely fate, I guess. Mm, Shelly, give it to the kid. Give what to the kid? Um, what? Is that okay? Mm, yes. What could I do with a mega stone, anyways? Now that I've lost my keystone. Um, I understand. And we're getting his mega stone for Sharpedo. Cool. Okay. Well, with that being said, we now have our own mega stone for Sharpedo. If we want to make our own mega Sharpedo, which is pretty cool. Um, the Sharpedo Knights. Make sure your Sharpedo holds onto it tightly. We don't have one, but thank you. Mm, you can take my power, Scalp. I'm giving it to you. That woman. I don't think she's just any old trainer. Not with that, the, the way she controlled those dragon-type Pokemons of hers. I got no idea what she's planning, though. But I think you're the best bet at stopping her now, little Scalp. Do that for me. Okay. Well, that's honestly our only option here. Oh, it looks like Steven's calling us again. Hmm, Spooks, are you all right? Hmm, is that right? I'd never even imagined. The Keystone, the Sky Pillar, and the Dragon always need people. So that's it. I begin to see the line connecting these dots. I think we need to meet up at once, discuss what we should do next. I'll be waiting at the Space Center, up on the second floor. Do hurry, please. Okay. Do hurry indeed. Before we go, let's at least say hi to Archie and Shelly before we go. Mm, that crazy lady! She said that the former champion would do what she was about. Mm, you'd know where to find him, right? We definitely do. Space Center, second floor. What about you, Shelly, though? Um, go get her. Art for Archie. Okay, go get her for Archie indeed. But honestly, first things first is... 
getting on out of here since it's a uh, actually no i think we can no we can't teleport immediately we well technically we can if we go back the way we came a little bit but i think no we can't actually use escape ropes in here okay good to know actually okay so we need to go out the front here and back to the beginning so back to the front of this place is exactly where we're going since nowhere else will take us so, honestly, thankfully, we got a quick way of doing that, since there's another teleporter that does take us to the front. Thankfully, there's no more Team Aqua members in between us and our goal, though. But, uh, anything from you now that you told us where we had to go? Nope, just telling us where we go. Oh, wait, actually, you said something different. The girl who came here asking for where our leader's room was, I heard she was an intruder. Probably shouldn't have told her where it was. Archie will give me noogies. <laughs> He probably would, knowing him at this point. But uh, definitely need to go through your little uh, shipyard here, because uh, where we're going is this little portal here, which takes us back to the beginning. And just like that, out we go. So now that we're pretty much out of Team Aqua's base here, anything from you guys? Um, Archie seems to be fine for now. What a relief. That is a good thing, too. One bad thing happens after another, but we have to get through this. What about you, though? Um, Black Bob here. Actually, she's my type. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, good for you, buddy. Good for you, indeed. But honestly, now that we're making our way out of Team Aqua's hideouts, next up is heading back to the space station in Moss Deep, since that is definitely where we want to go next. So, thankfully, we can fly while we're surfing. So, into the skies we go, and time to prepare for whatever Steven Stone has to say for us when, once we do get back to the Space Center. But honestly, once we do get there, well, then we'll need to find the Sky Pillar. And let's be honest here, we haven't seen a sight of the Sky Pillar whatsoever since we can fly over the entire ocean now. And you think we would have seen it by now at this point. And I believe where originally where the Sky Tower is is above the uh, seafloor cavern in the original games, so it's not in the same space. So, it's definitely weird in that situation. But honestly, up to the second floor, let's go tell Steven what's going on now. Since, one, we need to hear what he's got to say, and we, he's got to know what we have on information now. Hmm, spooks, I have been expecting you. Well, that's good. Got some things to tell you. Especially about Especially about the Sky Pillar, of all things. Hmm, ah, oh, that's it. Hmm, that woman not seen as she mentioned the Sky Pillar. Few can enter it. Only the successors of the ancient world who know of what has been. The law keepers who are tasked with passing on that knowledge to those who came after. Okay. Do you remember Wallace, whom you met in Sutopolis? Yep, I do. Eighth gym leader, water type gym. Yeah, I remember him. And technically, uh, the secondary champion of this region, if you were playing Emerald. But, uh, yeah, I know him. Mm, is that right? That is a relief. The gym leader of Sutopolis, Wallace, should know how to undo the seal on the Sky Pillar's entrance. He is also one of the few humans to have inherited such ancient lore. I will remain here and work with the professor and his team to devise a plan for what to do next. That woman, Zinnia, I cannot put my faith in her. We will think of a new way to stop the meteoroid on our own. Zinnia and the Sky Pillar, I will leave them in your hands. I will send a message to Wallace for you so she he knows to help. You will probably find him in the Cave of Origins in Sutopolis. Okay, Sutopolis it is. Anything else from Professor Cosmo? This is no time to lose heart. I've got somehow got to find a way to repair the dimensional shifter. Same as before. But honestly, with that being said, this is where we're going to be ending the second third of our story in the Delta story, since it is a three hour story under normal circumstances. Unless you speedrun it, I think you could do it in an hour and a half or maybe two hours but honestly it's a three hour story when it comes to story reasons so with that being said in the next episode we will be be you know doing the end 
or beginning of the end of the Delta episode of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So with that being said, honestly, next step, find Zinnia, find the Sky Pillar, hopefully revive Rayquaza, or hopefully repair the Dimensional Shifter in time. Honestly, with that being said, only one thing can possibly happen. We need to get rid of the Meteoroid to stop the extinction events. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.